look at color. Black and, black and white children, Hispanic children, you know why they get along? Because they don't look at each other's color. So you're the racist, not them, not us. You're judging and dividing. You're causing segregation. Everything that we fought for, everything that I fought for for years. The video was of uh, Tatiana Ibrahim. Now, she is the mother of a young girl who goes to public school in Putnam County, New York, north of New York City. Tatiana goes before her local school board and she strikes back. She strikes back at the insanity of critical race theory. She strikes back at the insanity that some schools are teaching hatred of police officers. She strikes back at the insanity of cancel culture. Now, ordinarily, we would take a video like this and splice it up into a couple of sound bites. I can't do that right now. You've got to watch it in its entirety. If I could show you Paul Revere's speech, I would not cut it up. So it's about 10 minutes long. I think it's worth every second. I think you're gonna like it. I think you might be inspired by it. Tatiana Ibrahim before her local school board in Putnam County, New York. Good evening. My name is Tatiana Ibrahim, and I'm here for the first time. I'm here tonight not only as a community member, but as a parent in this district. Recently, you sent out a survey wanting to know why parents were not voting yes for this budget. So my, my situation, my vote for no is a little different. I think the Board of Education and those sitting on the panels are thieves. I think they're liars and have committed treason against our children. My message to this district and the members of the Board of Ed, stop indoctrinating our children. Stop teaching our children to hate the police. Stop teaching our children that if they don't agree with the LGBT community, that they're homophobic. You have no idea each child's life. You don't know what their family lifestyle consists of. You don't know the makeup of their, of, of their life. You have children like mine who is Muslim and I'm Christian and everyone would think they would never believe that of her, right? Because the way she looks, or according to Miss Cyrus, she's too pasty white. We're, we're not allowed to use names. If you have something you'd like to discuss about a specific person, you can call the superintendent or leave your info for her to call you tomorrow. Why are we not allowed to discuss names? Why am I not allowed when they purposely themselves expose themselves on social media, talking about calling for the death of a former president, or saying that any child that doesn't believe in Black Lives Matter should be canceled out? Is this what my tax dollars is paying for? You're teaching my children and other children that if they believe in God Almighty, they're part of a cult. These educators put their own names out there. We have Mr. Barry, who took it upon himself with Miss Cyrus to create a curriculum. That should be it. Do you want the proof? I have the proof. You created a curriculum of Black Panther indoctrination. Ma'am. You use taxpayers' dollars. Can I ask you one more time? I, I, I have no issue hearing what you have to say, but- Why, are, why can we not let the public speak? Why can't we let the public know that you're teaching our children to go out and murder our police officers? That Do you want the proof? I have the proof. Is that what scares you, the proof? That a parent actually standing up against all of you? Is that what scares you, to call out the names of these people? You work for me. I don't work for you. You have a duty. We are entrusting our children to you. We teach our children morals, values, when they grow up to commit crimes and end up in prison and kill a police officer. It's our fault? No, it's your fault. You're emotionally abusing our children and mentally abusing them. You're demoralizing them by teaching them communist values. This is still America, ma'am. And as long as I'm standing here on this good ground earth of God, I will fight. And I'm not, this is not the last of me you will see. I'm retired. I have nothing else better to do. 
We can do it peacefully or we can take it to the highest courts because you know and I know I'm not the only parent fighting this all across America right now. Schools are trying to poison our children's minds, teaching them about things that they have no right to be taught in school. So, no, so normally, oh, I'm just going to, if you don't mind, I'm going to just give you a, just a feedback for a moment. I have no problem having a peaceful discussion. This is not a peaceful discussion. No, that's your opinion. See, here we go again. This no. is peaceful. To me, this is peaceful. Well, I'm not okay. burning, looting, and murdering. <laughs> this is peaceful. I did not accuse you of that, but I, would, I don't have a problem having a conversation with you. A peaceful conversation, which is this is not. Six ninety-five per child in the middle school to buy a curriculum from readtome.org that wasn't even approved by the by the Board of Ed. The administrators took it upon themselves to buy these books with taxpayer dollars while COVID is going on. How many families are struggling to pay their mortgages? Listen, by all means. You want to teach kids these things? Fine. Don't do it on my dollar. Don't infringe on my religious beliefs. Don't infringe. Do you know who makes up the majority of this district? Children from police officers' families. Blues. Back the blue children. Do you know what these children feel like when they come home? Have you spoken to them? No. You're silencing them. This whole cancel culture. You're silencing the children. Where are their rights? They have no rights. Because if they don't believe in the indoctrination, the demonic, twisted, sneaky, vile acts and, 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 and education, if you call it that, that you're teaching our children, they don't agree with that. They're either homophobic, they're part of a cult, they, 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 they're racist. What, what's, what's racist? Who defines racist? Why? Because I'm, do you know what race I am? Do you? You don't. You don't even have a, a, an idea. I could be black. I could be white. I could be Asian. You don't know. Who are you to determine that? Who is anyone to determine that? You know what? Children in the school system, children like other children, they don't look at color. Black and, black and white children, Hispanic children, you know why they get along? Because they don't look at each other's color. So you're the racist. Not them. Not us. You're judging and dividing. You're causing segregation. Everything that we fought for, everything that I fought for for years. So you have the right to stand here and tell me I'm not allowed to mention a name when the person, the Mr. Barry and Miss Cyrus themselves, you have ELA teachers giving out uh, assignments on police murder. To, police are bad. Uh, you want the proof? Okay. Because we have it. So, what policy do you have that teachers are not allowed to go on social media and indoctrinate? They took a, an oath, a responsibility, and they're, they're, they're going against everything that they stand for. End. Well, end. I understand. End it? it I end it? I have to end it? So, why? I, I, why? You're on my dollar. Why? Well, actually, I, I, I work for nothing doing this. Oh, you work for nothing. Oh, I do. This is a volunteer position, number okay. one. It's number still two. my taxes paying for everything. I, I, I this podium right. is every taxpayer's dollar here. Uh, we have rights. We have rights. And, and you're making general assumptions? No, I'm not making assumptions. I'm not. Just, I know what I'm speaking about. See, you know I don't I'm agree not, with you, engage. so it's an assumption. Well, I'm not going to engage in a back and forth with you about this. So if you would like to make an appointment, I would be happy to sit with the superintendent. I don't, I don't want to. The superintendent, uh, the assistant superintendent already sent an email and stated that they had no idea that these books were being put on, in, in the students' hands. The superintendent already stated that they had no idea that the funds of taxpayers were supporting this. Black Panthers, do you know Black Panthers is a domestic terrorist group? Do you know that it was, it was, it was condemned as a, as a terrorist group? Do you know they kill cops? I have a problem when you're trying to kill a police officer. I have a big problem with that. I have a problem when teachers are passing out flyers, recruiting children to go to, to the courthouse, to protest Black Lives Matters, when you have people sitting with, with, with signs that says all cops are bastards. Really? All cops are bastards? No, I think you people are, because the way you're acting yeah. and the way you're treating our children and our police officers yeah. and making them believe that it's okay to abuse them, I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here and yeah. let you do that. You, you, no, you I'm, I will become your worst nightmare, because I'm going to stand here and keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. Thank you. And if not, um, we, I can actually go out 
get signatures, what happens if we stop paying school taxes? You're going to arrest all the community? The majority of the community? No, I don't think so. This won't be the last of me. I want everyone to know what's going on because you're hiding it. You're hiding it. You know who does that? Communists do that. That's what you're doing, recruiting children. Children. You're recruiting children to hate our police officers. How dare you? You have a librarian in the high school passing out Black Lives Matter pins. When a student asks for a blue live, why would I have that? Why would she have that? What did you do for police, police week? Why don't you tell me, sir? What is it you want to tell me? You've had your two minutes. I don't need two minutes. I can, ha I can go as long as I like. No, that's not the board. No? Oh. Who, where does it say that I can't? Is there a law against that? There's we do have policy. a policy. A board policy. Who, who makes these board policies? The board. The, the board. board. And who pays the board? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody? The chair you're sitting on, we pay for it. The lights that are on, we pay for it. We pay for everything. You want to silence me because I spoke the truth. I spoke the truth. Everyone out there heard me. Whether they agree or they don't, they're going to start looking into it. And now you're, go now you're exposed. That's all. It's going to end. This indoctrination and hatred towards our police officers, this systematic racism and cancel culture, it's going to end. You came to the wrong school district to do this, okay? You need to respect every child. So therefore, no politics should be discussed in school, rather, whether it be conservatism, democratic, liberalism. You gave a, 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 a survey after the elections. Why? Why did you ask students who they voted for? What did it matter? No answer, huh? You have no answers for me. I, I didn't expect an answer. That's okay, though. We'll get them some way or another. Same way you can't show us where all our money goes, right? God. Yeah, that's what I thought. Thank you. Her name is Tatiana Ibrahim, and she'll be joining us in just a little bit. I think everybody should go on social media and follow her right now. She's active on Twitter, Tatiana Ibrahim5. That's her Twitter handle. This is still America. Perhaps my favorite line, but I loved it. Were you inspired? I was. We've been waiting for something like this. Stay with us. We'll meet her. We'll get some other good stuff as well. Be right back. Tatiana joins us right now. Congratulations. That was so amazing. How are you tonight? I'm well. Thank you, Greg. How are you? Terrific. Uh, what has the reaction been like so far? Got a lot of support. A lot of parents coming out, all different parts of the U.S. A lot of support from my community. Moms coming out of everywhere, children, dads. A lot of support. You know, there was something about it. Um, I... I I found myself becoming almost emotional at the end, and I know a lot of other people feel the same way. Can you tell us a little bit first about your daughter? You referenced her. Um, what grade is she in? And tell us a little bit about what she's been going through, please. So my daughter is amazing. Um, she is she is uh, a sophomore at the high school, she's in 10th grade, and she's very, um, my daughter was being taught to be tolerant. Um, she was taught to, you know, at school to be tolerant. And at home, we were teaching her our, our, what we believe in as a family and as a unity. Um, and she was going to school and they were just telling her different things. Teachers were telling her that if she didn't agree with LGBT, you know, it's, it's bad. You're not good. Telling her friends it's homophobic if you don't agree. And, you know, she was made fun of, um, when she was in the middle school, she was told she had shorts on and they told her she shouldn't be wearing it because she's too pasty white. How do you tell a child that? You know, they, they didn't want her hanging out with different ethnicities. They were telling her, well, you're privileged, you know, and she was confused, but I don't understand, you know, my parents, my dad works so hard and what's going on, my grandfather, retired police officer, worked so hard, and she couldn't understand that, you know, and it was very confusing, and we went through a lot, very emotional. Um, it, it really shut her down for a while, 
And she wasn't the only one. You know, her friends were going through the same thing and they just so confused. Mom and dad or guardians teaching me one thing and going to school. And it's all getting erased. Well, it's happening nationally, as we know, an absurd conversation about race, I believe, to avoid having an important one. You came out, uh, you meant business as soon as you got to that podium. These are the first, uh, I think, 30 seconds or so of your presentation before the board. I'd like to play that, please. I think the Board of Education and those sitting on the panels are thieves. I think they're liars and have committed treason against our children. My message to this district and the members of the Board of Ed. Stop indoctrinating our children. Stop teaching our children to hate the police. Stop teaching our children that if they don't agree with the LGBT community, that they're homophobic. It's pretty intense. And uh, look, you told me about support from across the, the country. What about the board? Are they moving? Are they, are they uh, willing to work with you on this? Has anybody on the board come to you and said, you're right? So no, Greg. So at the end of the meeting, I approached the superintendent and assistant superintendent, and I handed them the proof that I had in hand. And I was told, okay, we will contact you. We'll get a meeting going. Um, it should be no later than a week or so. And nobody reached out to me. Nobody called me. Answers, uh, questions are still being unanswered. They're just not, they're not communicating. You know, I really thought that they were going to be receptive and try to work with us. Nothing, nothing, because we exposed them. You did nothing. call them, uh, by the way, we reached out to the board. Uh, we got through to them. We talked to people up there. Uh, they said they would try to get back to us. They did not. Uh, you mentioned that they're thieves. Uh, how so? Where's our money? They, they're asking for 133 million and change. We have a COVID relief package that I, I believe was, I don't know, 23 million and change. Monies from last year's budget. Where's our money? Children don't, in the Carmel School District, the high school, there's no central air conditioning. They want buses. We have enough buses. They went, they did a sneaky, Undercover, quiet, hush hush job, renting property, five thousand dollars a month. Didn't tell the public. Didn't ask the, the, the tax dollars. Yep. Even our town supervisor didn't know. And now the property has liens, and they want us to fix it. There are some books that have been assigned. One is One Crazy Summer, and the other Ron's Big Mission. This certainly isn't a Catcher in the Rye or To Kill a Mockingbird. These are books that you're familiar with. These are books that are, um, well, they're not very enlightened from our perspective when it comes to race. Tell me about these books and your frustrations, please. They're racist. They're teaching our children on both sides, regardless of ethnicity or races or, 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 or a race, that if you're black, it's okay to throw a tantrum and get what you want. Instead of telling the child, don't look at your color, succeed on your own, you have the capabilities to do it, don't use race. They're teaching the, the, the children that the whites are hating a black child and a black child hating the white because the child went to the library to get a library card and was denied one because only white children can take books out or white folks can take books out, not blacks. The book was written it, it, was, it was published in, in 2018. It's a story that comes from the 1950s. The way they're explaining this book, children are actually thinking that this is occurring to, in today's age. This does not belong in our school system. I've been waiting for somebody like this for a moment like this. The video was of uh, Tatiana Ibrahim. Without you. Without you.